My true Yarns, I stand before you armed with truth. For too long, our country was stolen by politicians. But you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists, the most effective treatment for cancer the world has ever seen, grown within our precious tobacco, modified with the purest fertilizer, Viviro is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy, but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island, chosen to produce enough Viviro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son, Diego, will be drafted tomorrow. Hey, Danny. And like a true Yaran, he Turn will that shit off. with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough politics, Lita. You think the draft is only taking true Yarans? It's the outcasts, the poor, orphans like us. He's bringing slavery back from the dead in Yara. You can't run from this. Hang on. You ditched us. Ran off to the jungle with a bunch of guerrillas. Libertad. Hmm? Now you're back here to recruit for Clara Garcia's local crusade? Come on, this is our big goodbye. Danny, fucking say something. Got my name wrong. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. Would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck up. <laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Aye. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. Drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. Coño! Fucking blackout. Too big for a blackout. You fucking pack it? Oh yeah! What's going on? Grab peace must report for duty. You will join us to reveal paradise. What the fuck? Grab peace must report for duty. You will join us to reveal paradise. No! Grab peace must report for duty. Alejo, get down! Fuck Castillo! Alejo! No! Raptis must report for duty. You will join Danny, us to reveal paradise. We have to go. Now! Check the rooftop! The must report You're coming. You will join Promise us me, Lita. See. Come on, Danny. Okay, Danny. When we get to Miami, to say goodbye to him. I promise. You will join us to reveal paradise. Open up! This is the end. Antonio, get down. She. You are in violation of the true Yarana. I told you, there's nobody here. Should answer the call. Next asshole who opens the door is Danny Rojas. Come on. FND, get out here. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. Come on, come on. 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 Come on.
with baseball cards. Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through. Oh, oh, yeah. Marco, always making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? Give up his ticket. Or his family. Bullshit. Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get on the box and go. Hola. 
process. Don't worry about it, Chimako. Here, that's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the young geese. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lita. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. What's that? Please, no, no, this is a piece of You mean, no, no! <laughs> was El Presidente. Mi papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this, and we would catch the fish, and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. You have boys and Yara, you are fighting your soul! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! No way. I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. 13 years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish, we will catch and release. What the hell just happened? I think we're fucked. <laughs> Vamos, vamos! I can't feel my legs. Fuck. This is all my fault. My phone. Yeah, forget it, Lita. My phone. This is the beach, Danny. It's fucking fate. What? She's hiding here. Clara. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's all here. Take my phone. Follow the code like when we were kids. Stop, Elita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one.
so many dead. Gone. I should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. Shit. Pistol's empty. Need to find that gun. How the fuck is he still working? The markings must be the Colita was talking about. Looks like I follow the blue to Libertad. Who's shooting? Better stay quiet. I swear. The Yaren got me smell. Like animals. I can smell it on your clothes. Go on, you. Your sweat. Patrol. It's the stink of a traitor. <laughs> All rotten on the inside. How did I know you were scavenging for Libertad? I smelled it on you. That's why you died. <laughs> I'm not the only one looking for Clara. Blue armband. Must be Libertad. What's this? Could be useful. Get to Liberta. Ah, steal a boat. Sell the fuck out of Yara. Easy. Now I'm talking to myself. Perfecto. Shit. Ah! Oh, fuck. Bad time to be a guerrilla. Been a while since I used one of these. Doesn't want visitors. Gonna show your face before you shoot me? I'm Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. You are the only survivor? Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? See, si. Lucky. Lita knew the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermano. Lita said you would help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda!
You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny, Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards? I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillos. Simple. Simple? Castillos got what? 300,000 troops? I count six burnt out guerrillas and you with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. Hit a Viviro tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. But Castillo's forces were waiting. Got us down from 60 to 6. You need to get back to your base. Yes, but this island is surrounded by a blockade. We don't have boats, we don't have much gear. And we are not leaving until that Viviro plantation goes up in smoke. But we are guerrillas. We know this land inside out. You're already familiar with our guerrilla paths. They were built by the legends in 67. They're spread like a web across all of Yara. Now, they're ours. Guerrilla paths are good to ambush soldados or to hide if the army is on your back. They have caches that will help you survive. And all this is legit? This map is old as hell. Made for turistas, yeah, it's out of date, but you got the regions, municipalities, and landmarks of Yara. You'll get used to it. Now I need to call in some favors with the locals to get us a boat, and you need to go find me Juan Cortez. Who? Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell Lita then? I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees, but it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. Hello, my friend. You ready? I attacked this archipelago with a man named Juan Cortes. He helped me build Libertad from the dirt. Juan's a spy master from the pre-Castillo days. Can build an ICBM from a goddamn ice cube tray. Pulled off ops for Espinosa, the KGB, then flipped to the CIA and Mossad for fun. Juan is my mentor. He's also unstable and an alcoholic. When shit went south, he was so embarrassed, he walked straight out of my camp. Castillo soldados would love nothing more than to capture a double agent like Cortez. I need him back with neighbor Tad, Danny. He's done with us, but you're a fresh face. Take this earpiece. Juan made them for comms, then head to the village. If I were you, I would check the bar first. Get down to that village and bring me Cortez. I hope for your sake he's sober. <clears throat> Stay strong out there. Trust your instincts. You don't belong here. Earpiece. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. This spy shit works, Clara. I'll give you that. Bien. Keep your gun holstered if you want to stay out of trouble. 
Especially in areas with a lot of soldados. See, si, I got it. A smart guerrilla picks their battles. Suerte. Juan Cortez. I don't know the name. Hi, my hey, how are you? Por favor. Papers. I don't have them on me, señor. No papers. That looks like a Juan. Today we drink in the worst fucking cantina in Yara. Or is it Colombia? Kirat. Chechnya. Leave the bottle. Let's work for you. Another. Guapo, you listen. Rule 16. A guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez. What do you think gave it away, Guapo? This isn't a fucking zoo, abuelo. Clara sent me to find you. See, I learned long ago never to doubt her. You will too. Hey, I know you. Don't think so. Yeah, I know you. It's like I'm looking at a mirror, guapo. What are you talking about? Those eyes, guerrilla. You got a taste. You convince yourself you're a hero, but you wake up a junkie. Just like Juan Cortez. This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? What? Nah, you can't whistle. Boom! A la ping! You fucking rat. You were more dead anyway. the fuck? See, Guapo is in love with you. And I ruined the only copy of my book. Bueno, mis socios, vámonos. Once again, we have outstayed our welcome. you old man I saw the whole thing big shootout and there was a fucking crocodile attacking the soldado stop laughing I'm serious Come 
Papa wants to be your friend. Or maybe he just needs to take a dump. Only one way to find out. Papa! Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. I can tell you handled a gun before. What's your name? Danny. So Clara says you're a legend. Ex-KGB, ex-CIA. <laughs> I got more fucking exes than your porn search history. Some men, they break eggs for breakfast. But Juan Cortez, he breaks fucking country. Hold up. New plan, Danny. Vamos. The plan is to go back to Clara's camp. Where the hell are we going now? See that smoke? That means the watchtower just got a supply drop with some of the rarest materials you'll find in Yara. And you are going to go get it. Now you want me to steal shit for you? Gunpowder and Supremo Bond. The Cerveza and Chaser of Resolver. I'm gonna teach you to make shit for weapons. Because making shit for weapons is cool. And it's rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. You coming with me? Fuck no. You got guapo. You can tear shit up with him, but if you want to be sneaky, leave him behind. That cutie loves to make a mess. At least you're here to help Waco. Weapon or not, the military will shoot me on sight here. Guess this could be useful. What the hell are you going to do with this one? A true Yara is not strangled by their own freedoms. A true Yara is <laughs> Found all your shit, Juan. Good work, Danny. Now hurry up already. We need to get back to Clara's camp. That's what I've been saying. Okay, we got more than enough. Let's get the fuck out of here. So what's with all this junk? You bip? Huh? Listen to Juan. So what's with all this junk? You building something? Patience, Danny. Rule number eight. A guerrilla knows how to wait. Like a spider or a serial killer. So, oh, how did you get to this godforsaken hellhole? I was on a refugee ship. We didn't get far. Yeah, yeah. And I came here on a chopper and our baby a patient of Santuario. Shot straight out of the goddamn sky. No, I mean, what's your story? The orphanage in Esperanza. Then the military. I'm no guerrilla, just helping Clara out until she gets me off this island. Rule 20. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. Enough with that shit. Too late. The horse is out of the barn, and now the fucking cocaine is all over the kids, Danny. There is no other option. America is my option. 
Of course. And you think Americans want your Yaran blood? The American dream is for Americans, Danny. You don't quit, do you? Nope. Wapo hates quitters. Gonyo. If you two are so close, why is he following me? Wapo goes with those who need him most. Like those therapy dogs in your precious America. You can trust Wapo with your life. Yeah. Not sure I'm there yet. You got time. You said your chopper was shot down in the invasion. Can you fix it? So I can fly you to the Yankees? No, that's... It's grounded. But I'm working on it. Patience, Danny. Now it's time for Juan Cortez to show you how to make something out of nothing. Did I ever tell you rule number nine? You just did. Always use the right tool for the right job. Words to live by. Okay. How many others? The legend returns. The legend needs to piss, Hefa. Who's she? She was a journalist who dared call Anton Fascista. Now she's an outcast, a slave for his paradise. And she's not the only one, Danny. Time you learn about Resolver, Danny. When I was six, I rigged my first bike with the chainsaw motor. The blockade means I have to Resolver every day, Juan. Nah, that's survival. For a guerrilla, Resolver isn't just making do with what you have. It's inflicting chaos with everything you've got. Keep talking. A guerrilla's best weapon is the workbench. Go ahead, Danny. Get cozy with it. Let's take a crack at those weapons. No offense, but your battle rifle is a little basic. Let's fix that. Rule number nine. Always use the right tool for the right job. In this Sometimes case... I lie awake at night asking myself, Juan, how can you kill people faster? The answer is soft target rounds. Excellent, Danny. Now you can pop enemy flesh like a ripe watermelon. Okay, let's look at your other rifle. Let's say your target remembered to wear their helmet and vest today. You're gonna need some armor pierce. These rounds fly straight and through and go through Kevlar like shit through a goose. Nice! Now you got your own supply of high velocity war crimes. Let's look at your attachments. Time to make your very first suppressor. This will turn a bang into a bang at the cost of some range. See how easy that was? Now you can silently headshot your enemies like a real asshole. The workbench is your friend, Danny. A friend with benefits. Damn, you making shit is addictive. With that workbench, you, you can build a new Yara. Want to steal something that excessively dangerous? Danny, I've got big plans for you. But first, I need you to get a thing for me. Now, I hear you ask, Juan, what is this thing you need? All you need to know is don't try to eat it, talk to it, or put it in your pants. But Juan, I hear you ask, where is this thing you need? Head for the radio tower and follow the trail north. It'll take you to an abandoned camp on the east side of the island. I can mark it on your map. You'll meet my contact there. She'll hook you up. And Danny, you pull this off, I'm gonna give you something for pulling me from the bottle. A little gift an old friend gave me for saving his life. Not that you saved my life, 
Just, I get the fuck out of here. Easy as smoking a cigar on Sunday. Basic training. Whoa. That's a good one. I've been through enough of them in Esperanza. Clear the checkpoints, destroy the billboards, then watch Libertad rise from the ashes. as a stash room.
Bina, they're here! Watch my box! Binga! Our gunshots. Don't fuck with us! Mierda! Ah, sí. Yo lo que... One, I found the tower. Don't stop now, Danny. Find the guerrilla path and follow it to my contact. See, si. I'm on my way. You're in the right place, Danny. Of course, it had to be my old... My name is Raisa, and I'm going to be helping you steal shit from Castillo today. Are you going to tell me what I'm stealing? Depleted uranium. <laughs> Pardon. I thought you just said uranium. You heard me. Look, all I know is I burned my last contact in the army tracking it down for Juan. You ex-military? Isn't everybody? Okay. You show me where it is. First, you take this parachute. Trust me, it can save your life. Now I'll take you to the old Spanish fort. They've got it locked up inside. Conscript or volunteer? Conscript. My number came up, so I did my time. You? Volunteer. All I wanted to be was a soldier. You know, wear the uniform, serve my country. Found out the only kind of soldier Castillo wants is a blind fascist addicted to his every word. So now you're a traitor. Yeah, and I'm not the only one. There's a guard posted at the watchtower ahead. He's going to let us use it to scout out the fort. He can also give us useful info. What does he want from us? One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. Two, a little bribe to these double agents will get us military intel. What's the problem? Haven't got all day. Okay, stay close. One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. What's the problem? Okay, stay close. One, not to get his ass shot. So keep your gun holstered or he'll open fire. Two, a little bribe to these double agents will get us military intel. Right. No weapons. Pesos ready. There he is. Hope you got some pesos on him. What do you got? Okay, check this out. Here's where you can find some weapons around here. Thanks. Sure. Whatever you and Raisa are about to do, 
I don't want to be around for it. Everyone's got their price. Not every soldier's a fanatic. Some are just trying to feed their family. Just remember to put the bones away before you approach. Use your phone to scout out enemy soldiers and see their weaknesses. I bet Juan's already giving you his right tool for the right job talk. Where is the officer in charge? Alvarez has the key to the armory. Careful, Danny. He's higher rank. In Castillo's army, that means he's better trained, quicker with the trigger, and a tough motherfucker. This fort is the most protected base on the island. These soldiers have been issued with body armor and helmets. Nothing armor piercing rounds can't handle. Use the workbench if you need to craft some, and then go snatch that uranium, Danny. That's far as you Watch myself here. the armory. The uranium is inside. Hmm. Camera. Join me in thanking the brave men and women of the Yaren military. By putting on the uniform, they have made a promise to stand between you and the chaos of the time. As your friend
president. I give our soldiers the best training and place only the best weapons in their hands. All for your protection. When they swear their oath of loyalty to me, they become warriors of a higher vision. When you see a soldier of Yara, it is the duty of every Yara under their protection to stop them and thank them for their service. I'm going to the command room. the key to the armory. Tell me I was stealing uranium. It was supposed to be a surprise. Now bring it back to me. What if this shit kills me? It's depleted uranium, Danny. Stop being such a pussy. Thank you. 
Oye, Juan. <laughs> this is resolver, Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Yankees use it for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> Crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Lita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. A guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay, but what the hell is this? This is a supremo. Looks like a rocket launcher. See, si, she does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. The two go together like fire and fury. I like how you reserve this one. So do I. Hola. Hi. Supremos are like a good lover. Or a great sandwich. Are you just hungry, Juan? Yes, but I'm talking about layers, Danny. Head to the workbench and I'll show you. Supremos aren't just simple tools of destruction, Danny. Let's take a look at that Supremo. The special ingredient that makes this all happen is Supremo Bond. You need it to make your gadgets. Pick a gadget, Danny. This is a safe space. There's no wrong answer here. Excellent. Now go talk to Clara. Time to give that Supremo a workout. Hola. Now go talk to Clara. Time to put that Supremo. We need to talk. Got to act on this. Now. I don't need to tell you that Viviro is the lifeblood of Castillo's regime. He's built work camps to produce it all over Yara. These plantations use outcasts as slaves to grow the tobacco plants they turn into Viviro. These are our people, Danny. Beaten. Tortured, sprayed by poison chemicals. There's a camp on this island. We tried to destroy it when we invaded. We failed. Now we're going to finish the job. Julio is waiting for you at a nearby barn. Hit that slave camp hard. Suerte. Things get too heavy with the soldados. Just pull the trigger. But one tiny, tiny thing you should know. Uh huh. The Supremos are in an experimental phase. They need time to breathe after you use them. You know, so they don't overload and kill you. Could have told me before I struck one to my back. Just let that Supremo feed off the blood of your enemies. What? <laughs> You'll get it, Danny. <laughs> Wall now. What?
Didn't think you'd show. Listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead, I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami. But instead, my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there, and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. He'll protect you from fire, and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. Using the right protective gear in the right situation will keep you alive. Yeah, the right tool for the right job. Been hearing that a lot lately. Listen, Julio. Lita was like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you, Ross. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, we need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucked up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Gonyo. So you're military. Marksman? Close us off? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. Up here, Dali. See the Viviro tobacco and the yellow poison tanks? See. Si. Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact, poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big. Same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that to burn.
area. Vamos, alerta. We'll burn this fucking place to the ground.
On my way. Burning sheet with a flamethrower? Felt familiar. Motherfuckers. Shit. You really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. Danny. Huh? Castillo will get the message now. Okay. Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. We work well together. See? Si. 
Listen, if you are good with Lita, you're good with me. Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. Oye, Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, but okay. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. Talk to him. Let me guess. Clara Garcia talked you into this. She even had us fishers hooked on her Libertad nonsense. Convinced us to help her little invasion of Santuario. Lost five of my best. Now Clara calls me begging for boats. More recruits. Pfft. I'm a pirate first. Fisher second. Thank the blockade for that. We use our boats to pull fish from the sea. And we get people and contraband past the army. But el presidente tied in his grip. The new comandante, Rosario, has locked down all the fuel to keep it out of Libertad's hands. Murders anyone who dares get near it. Clara wants us to help Libertad? Take back that refueling station. Kill Rosario. Help put food back on our tables. Suerte, compay. The only thing better than a guerrilla is a guerrilla with a nice ride. You want me to steal one? Been doing that since I was a kid. You're in the big leagues now. You need a car? Just call for one. I'll have a friend bring it right to you. Gracias. But you don't have any friends, Juan. Just shut up and call for a car, Danny. Ow! No one walks in Yara. Here you go, guerrilla. What? This is a nice car. That's not a car, Danny. That is a 1956 Beaumont Valentina. She's a work of art. 
just like me. Except I don't have a ram welded to my chassis to fuck up anyone who gets in your way. You're definitely one of a kind. <laughs> now go get those fascists, Tiger! Hiciste algo bueno. Gracias. Heading to the fuel depot. Benito wants me to take it back from the army. It's an FND base. Danny, the army has bases all over Yara. We won't free them. We need to break their grip on the island. I'll do what I can, Clara. Sneaky. Better take out that camera.
I've got to turn that valve. Good coming, Andy. Nice frog. How many kills he got? Keep that cocodrilo away from me. Benito, the fuel station is open again. You can take as much as you need. Okay, Danny. But now is the hard part. The Comandante Rosario is a murderer, and she's not going to stop. As long as she's alive, this island is safe. I hear you, Benito. Over here, my friend. Tell me what you know. You want to hit the military where it hurts? There's an anti-aircraft site on Santuario. Blow it up. Thanks a lot. Let's go. That's a good horse. Go! Whoa!
Giovanni. I hear you're heading into the province of Bencejo. Yeah, taking care of a Comandante problem for Benito. Watch yourself. The military in Bencejo is much stronger, better equipped, and better trained. Find some high ground, do some scouting before you pull the trigger. Remember, rule number nine, right tool for the right job. Rule number ten, shut the fuck up. You're an adult and can make your own decisions. Spread your wings and fly, little bird. No sign of Rosario. I should keep looking. Comandante Rosario isn't here. I need to keep searching. A fucking tank? I think my Supremo can kill that tank. This tank has no room for amigos. Takes care of Rosario. Adios.
This I like. Okay, Benito. Rosario is dead. And the fuel is flowing again. Si, sí, carajo. I admit, I got my doubts about Clara. But I never doubted you, compai. I know a thing or two about looking out for your own. Tell Clara I'm heading to her camp. She's got our boats and our support. Gracias, Danny. Clara, Benito's back on your side. He's on his way to you right now. Shit, Danny, gracias. Now get your ass back to camp. It's time to get off this island. Just remember, Alfie. I've paid my rent and name so. One of those boats has me sailing to Miami. I keep my word, Danny. How about we change history first? You want us to take down Anton's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. The fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Hefa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara, free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing. Unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns, today. Because today, I'm going to punch a hole through Castile's warships! I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. Get that chopper up and running. See, sí, but there's an anti-aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Okay, Juan. 
I'll take it out. Sirio, because if it gets me, I'll make sure my fiery corpse comes down on you like a meteor. Vamos. Be nice, horse. Gracias, gracias. No hay problema. Don't worry. I'm a friend. Danny, I wanted to tell you something. I love a speech you give. Listen to me. Whatever happens now, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for Libertad and for me. Thank me once we've blasted through Castillo's blockade. See you on the other side, Danny. Ah, see. Sí. You're okay. <laughs> in charge.
Hey, Juan, anti aircraft cannons out. The sky is yours. Now go get those ships, and Juan will be your avenging angel of death. Whatever. As long as you got my back. Ha! I've got your back, a fresh cigar, and 12,000 rounds of divine wrath. Vamos echando! Gracias, my friend. You got it. Sorry, Guapo. No crocs allowed. I'm close to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the lighthouse. Sitting pretty with an RPG in perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower, round in the chamber, scope dialed in. Juan? Open up, guerrillas! Air Juan is in disguise and my bullets are hungry! Remember, we take those ships and we punch a fucking hole straight to our island. We get one shot at this, Libertad. See you on the other side. Danny, you want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. If Lita was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lita was here, I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio. Gotta take out that alarm.
Clara, I'm on board. This is it, Danny. Clear those ships and don't be afraid of using their own weapons against them. Those turrets pack one hell of a bunch. Make it sound so easy, Juan. Now, Clara. Keep the heat on them. We're wearing them down. If Lito could see us now, Danny. 
she'd be fixing your aim. <laughs> Fuck you, Danny. Done. Clara, it's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. We're not done yet. I'm going to hang back, set charges, and make sure those ships are blown to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Copy that. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. Where are you, Clara? Believe it that, Danny. Hell of a fireworks show. Had to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs until we could scrape up some money. Open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free elections solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, foreign-backed coups. Take your pick. 
Yarans will be killing Yarans for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yare is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Liberdad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Traidors! Criminales! Puta. Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love, not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. <laughs> fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa, you've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio, I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the show. <laughs> Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave. Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best kid I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work. 50-50. <laughs> 